Apply now. Top 7 Helpful Tips to Enhance Blood Circulation in Your Legs After 50 Have you ever experienced numbness or tingling in your legs? Do you find it difficult to walk long distances without feeling fatigued? If so, you might be experiencing poor blood circulation in your legs. According to the American Heart Association, poor blood circulation in the legs affects 8.5 million of individuals, particularly those over the age of 50. This condition can lead to discomfort, pain, and even serious health issues if left untreated. But fret not! In today's video, we're going to share with you the top 7 effective tips to enhance blood circulation in your legs, especially if you're over 50. These simple yet powerful strategies can be easily incorporated into your daily routine, helping you improve blood flow and regain comfort in your legs. Don't underestimate the importance of taking proactive steps to enhance blood circulation. By applying these tips, you can experience significant improvements in your leg health and overall well-being. And remember, it's never too late to start prioritizing your vascular health. In our previous video, we discussed harmful dietary habits that can negatively impact blood circulation. If you missed it, be sure to check it out for valuable insights on optimizing your diet for better vascular health. So, if you're ready to say goodbye to leg discomfort and hello to improved blood circulation, Let's dive into our top 7 tips right now. 1. Leg Elevation One of the most effective methods for enhancing blood flow in the legs is leg elevation. Leg elevation not only helps enhance blood circulation but also alleviates symptoms associated with poor circulation, such as leg swelling and discomfort. By reducing the pressure on the veins in the legs, it promotes efficient blood flow and prevents blood from pooling in the lower extremities. Additionally, Leg elevation can aid in the prevention of varicose veins and venous insufficiency by improving venous return and reducing venous hypertension. To effectively perform leg elevation, lie down on your back and prop your legs up on pillows or a leg rest, ensuring that they are elevated above the level of your heart. You can also use a reclining chair or an adjustable bed to elevate your legs while sitting or sleeping. For added comfort, place a small cushion or rolled towel under your ankles to support them. It's important to maintain this position for at least 15 to 30 minutes, preferably several times a day, to reap the benefits of improved blood flow. Next up, how can alternative holistic techniques that focus on applying pressure to specific points on the body and stimulating reflex areas contribute to enhancing blood flow in the legs, promoting circulation and relieving discomfort? 2. Acupressure and Reflexology Acupressure and reflexology techniques involve applying pressure to specific points on the body, which can enhance blood flow in the legs. One key reason for this is that acupressure and reflexology stimulate the release of endorphins, which are natural painkillers that also help dilate blood vessels, allowing for better circulation. For example, applying pressure to the Yongquan point on the sole of the foot can improve blood flow to the legs by stimulating the release of nitric oxide, a vasodilator. Studies have shown that regular practice of acupressure and reflexology can lead to significant improvements in blood circulation in the legs, reducing symptoms such as swelling and discomfort. When practicing acupressure and reflexology for enhancing blood flow in the legs, it's essential to focus on specific pressure points and techniques. One effective method is to massage the K1 point, also known as the bubbling spring point, located on the sole of the foot. Applying firm pressure to this point for several minutes can help stimulate blood circulation and relieve tension in the legs. Another helpful technique is to massage the reflex zones corresponding to the legs on the inner and outer edges of the foot. Additionally, incorporating deep breathing exercises and relaxation techniques during acupressure and reflexology sessions can further enhance their benefits for improving blood flow in the legs. Next up, how do alternative remedies, known for their natural healing properties and potential benefits for leg circulation, contribute to enhancing blood flow? 3. Herbal Remedies Certain herbs like ginger, ginkgo biloba, and horse chestnut can be used topically or ingested to support healthy circulation in the legs. One of the unique scientific reasons behind the effectiveness of herbal remedies in enhancing blood flow in the legs is their rich content of bioactive compounds, such as flavonoids and polyphenol. For instance, Herbs like ginger and ginkgo biloba contain compounds that have vasodilatory effects, meaning they widen blood vessels and improve circulation. Additionally, 
Herbs like horse chestnut contain essen, a compound known for its ability to strengthen vein walls and reduce inflammation, thus facilitating better blood flow. Studies have shown that regular consumption of herbal remedies can lead to improved blood circulation in the legs. For example, consuming 500 mg of ginger extract daily has been associated with increased blood flow velocity in the legs. When utilizing herbal remedies to enhance blood flow in the legs, it's essential to ensure proper preparation and dosage. For instance, ginger can be consumed fresh, dried, or in the form of supplements, with a typical dose of 2 to 4 grams of ginger powder per day. Ginkgo biloba supplements are commonly available in standardized doses of 120 to 240 mg per day. When using cayenne pepper, it's crucial to start with small doses to assess tolerance, as it can cause irritation in some individuals. Additionally, Incorporating garlic into cooking or consuming garlic supplements can provide its blood circulation benefits. Transitioning to the next topic, how do specialized garments designed to apply consistent pressure to the lower limbs, aiding in venous return and reducing swelling, contribute to enhancing blood flow in the legs? 4. Compression Garments Compression garments work by applying pressure to the legs, which helps enhance blood flow by aiding venous return to the heart. This pressure reduces the diameter of superficial veins, increasing the velocity of blood flow and reducing the risk of blood pooling in the legs. For example, wearing compression stockings with a pressure of 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury can significantly improve blood circulation in the lower limbs. Additionally, compression garments promote the release of nitric oxide, a molecule that dilates blood vessels, further enhancing blood flow. Unlike other methods, such as dietary supplements or medications, Compression garments provide immediate relief and can be worn throughout the day. To effectively utilize compression garments, it's essential to choose the right size and compression level based on individual needs and preferences. It's essential to determine the appropriate compression garment for your specific condition. When putting on compression stockings, ensure they are evenly and snugly fitted without causing discomfort or restricting blood flow. It's also important to regularly wash and maintain compression garments to prevent bacterial growth and maintain their effectiveness over time. Additionally, elevating the legs periodically while wearing compression stockings can further enhance their benefits by aiding venous return. Moving on, how do certain aromatic extracts derived from plants contribute to promoting blood flow in the legs, offering a natural alternative to traditional methods? 5. Essential Oils the most significant scientific reason behind the effectiveness of essential oils in enhancing blood flow in the legs lies in their vasodilatory properties. Essential oils such as peppermint, cypress, and ginger contain compounds like menthol, pinene, and gingerol, respectively, which can dilate blood vessels, improving blood circulation. For example, applying a few drops of diluted peppermint essential oil to the legs can provide a cooling sensation and promote vasodilation, increasing blood flow. Studies have shown that inhaling the aroma of these oils or applying them topically can lead to improved peripheral blood circulation. Additionally, compounds like limonene in citrus oils and linalool in lavender oil have been found to reduce inflammation and pain, which are often associated with impaired blood flow in the legs. Moreover, the aromatic molecules in essential oils can stimulate the limbic system, promoting relaxation and stress reduction, factors that contribute to better blood circulation. Specific tips for using essential oils to enhance blood flow in the legs include diluting them with a carrier oil, such as coconut or jojoba oil, to prevent skin irritation. Massaging the diluted oil onto the legs in upward strokes towards the heart can encourage venous return and lymphatic drainage, supporting circulation. For added benefits, combining essential oils with other natural ingredients like arnica or rosemary extract can amplify their effects. Moving to the next tip, how can incorporating simple yet effective leg exercises into your daily routine contribute to enhancing blood flow in the legs? 6. Leg Exercises One of the most significant factors contributing to the enhancement of blood flow in the legs through leg exercises is improved muscle contraction. When engaging in leg exercises, such as squats or leg presses, the muscles in the legs contract and relax, which helps to pump blood back to the heart more efficiently. Additionally, these exercises stimulate the release of nitric oxide, a vasodilator that widens blood vessels, allowing for increased blood flow. For example, 
performing a set of squats can increase blood flow to the legs by up to 30% immediately after exercise. This enhancement in blood flow is crucial for delivering oxygen and nutrients to the muscles, promoting their health and function. Moreover, these exercises promote the development of collateral blood vessels, which provide alternative routes for blood flow in case of blockages or restrictions in the main arteries. To maximize the benefits of leg exercises for enhancing blood flow, it's essential to perform a variety of exercises targeting different muscle groups in the legs. Incorporating activities like walking, cycling, and swimming into your routine can provide a comprehensive workout and promote circulation. Additionally, Practicing proper form and technique during exercises is crucial for preventing injury and optimizing results. Using resistance bands or ankle weights can add intensity to exercises, further stimulating blood flow. Performing leg exercises regularly, at least three times per week, and gradually increasing intensity and duration over time, can yield significant improvements in blood circulation and leg health. Last but not least, how does another method, known for its potential to enhance blood flow in the legs through temperature variation, contribute to improving leg circulation. 7. Contrast Hydrotherapy Contrast hydrotherapy involves alternating between hot and cold water treatments to stimulate blood flow. The hot water causes blood vessels to dilate, allowing more blood to flow through them, while the cold water causes vasoconstriction, which helps push blood back towards the heart. This contrast in temperature creates a pumping action that enhances circulation in the legs. For example, soaking the legs in warm water, around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, for 3 to 4 minutes followed by cold water, around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, for 1 to 2 minutes can significantly improve blood flow. Studies have shown that contrast hydrotherapy can increase blood flow in the legs by up to 30%, providing relief for individuals with circulation issues. Apart from enhancing blood flow, it also helps reduce inflammation and swelling, alleviates muscle soreness, and promotes relaxation. The alternating hot and cold water treatments stimulate the lymphatic system, facilitating the removal of toxins and metabolic waste products from the legs. To perform contrast hydrotherapy at home, fill two tubs or buckets with water, one with hot water and the other with cold water. Begin by immersing your legs in the hot water for 3 to 4 minutes, then switch to the cold water for 1 to 2 minutes. Repeat this process for 15 to 20 minutes, alternating between hot and cold water treatments. You can enhance the experience by adding Epsom salt or essential oils to the water for added relaxation and muscle relief. After completing the hydrotherapy session, gently pat your legs dry and elevate them to further promote blood flow. In conclusion, prioritizing these five helpful tips to enhance blood circulation in your legs after turning 50 is paramount for sustaining overall health and well-being. Failure to do so can lead to discomfort, pain, and potential medical interventions. Therefore, it's essential to proactively integrate these strategies into your daily routine. Looking ahead, our upcoming video will delve deeper into the specific detrimental habits affecting leg circulation that you might be engaging in daily. We encourage you to share your own experiences and insights in the comments section below, as your input can greatly benefit our community. Your support is invaluable to us. If you found this content beneficial, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your engagement enables us to continue providing valuable content to aid in your health and wellness journey. Thank you for being part of our community, and stay tuned for more insights. If you experience numbness or cramps in your legs, eat these foods right now. Have you ever found yourself experiencing numbness or cramps in your legs, especially after physical activity? These could be signs of a more serious condition known as peripheral artery disease, PAD, a common circulatory problem in which narrowed arteries reduce blood flow to the limbs, typically the legs. If left untreated, PAD can lead to severe complications and affect your quality of life. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, it's estimated that about 8.5 million people in the United States are affected by PAD. But don't worry. Despite the prevalence of PAD, there's hope. By making informed dietary choices and incorporating specific foods into your meals, you can effectively manage the symptoms and improve your overall vascular health. It's all about empowering yourself with the right knowledge and tools to combat this condition head-on. 
So, if you're tired of the discomfort and limitations imposed by PAD, stay tuned until the end of this video to ensure you don't miss out on potentially life-saving information for both you and your loved ones. We'll be revealing a list of foods that can make a significant difference in your vascular health. Now, let's dive right in, starting with spinach. 1. Spinach Spinach, rich in nitrates, boasts a unique ability to improve blood flow in your legs. Nitrates are converted into nitric oxide in the body, a compound that relaxes blood vessels and enhances blood circulation. Additionally, spinach is packed with iron, which plays a crucial role in the production of red blood cells, further supporting healthy blood flow. According to research conducted by the American Heart Association, incorporating just one cup of cooked spinach into your daily diet can provide approximately 5 mg of iron, meeting around 28% of the recommended daily intake for adults. Furthermore, the abundance of vitamins and minerals in spinach, including vitamin K and magnesium, supports overall cardiovascular health, contributing to better circulation throughout the body. Incorporating spinach into your diet is easy and versatile. You can enjoy it raw in salads, blend it into smoothies, or cook it as a side dish. To maximize its nutritional benefits, consider lightly steaming or sautéing spinach to retain its nutrients while enhancing its flavor. Adding lemon juice or vinegar can help unlock the iron content for better absorption. Next up, what specific properties of colorful fruits known for their antioxidant content can contribute to enhancing blood flow in your legs? 2. Berries Do you like berries? Berries, such as blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries, contain high levels of flavonoids, particularly anthocyanins, which are responsible for their vibrant colors. These compounds have been shown to improve blood flow in the legs by enhancing the function of endothelial cells, which line the blood vessels. Anthocyanins promote the production of nitric oxide, a molecule that relaxes blood vessels, reducing blood pressure and improving circulation. Additionally, berries are rich in vitamin C, which supports collagen production and maintains blood vessel integrity. Consuming just one cup of mixed berries daily can significantly enhance blood flow in your legs, contributing to overall cardiovascular health. Their potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties also help combat oxidative stress and inflammation, which are common contributors to impaired circulation. By reducing inflammation and oxidative damage in the blood vessels, berries promote better blood flow, preventing conditions like peripheral artery disease. To incorporate more berries into your diet, consider adding them to your breakfast cereal, yogurt, or smoothies for a nutritious boost. Alternatively, enjoy them as a snack on their own or mixed with nuts for added protein and healthy fats. To maximize their health benefits, opt for organic berries whenever possible to avoid exposure to pesticides. Frozen berries are also a convenient option and retain their nutritional value. Moving to our next topic, what are the key properties of fruits rich in vitamin C that contribute to enhancing blood flow in your legs? 3. Citrus Fruits Research conducted by organizations such as the American Heart Association, AHA, has revealed that citrus fruits contain a unique compound called hesperidin, which plays a crucial role in improving blood flow in your legs. Hesperidin strengthens capillary walls, reducing their permeability and preventing leakage of fluids into surrounding tissues. This action helps alleviate symptoms of conditions like varicose veins and chronic venous insufficiency, promoting better circulation in the lower extremities. For example, a study published in the Journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Nutrition, supported by the AHA, found that consuming just one medium-sized orange provides approximately 30 mg of hesperidin, contributing to its blood flow-enhancing effects. Moreover, the presence of flavonoids like naringin and quercetin further supports vascular health, reducing inflammation and oxidative stress in the blood vessels. To incorporate more citrus fruits into your diet, consider adding slices of oranges, grapefruits, or tangerines to your morning cereal or yogurt. You can also prepare refreshing citrus salads by combining segments of different citrus fruits with leafy greens and a drizzle of olive oil. For a hydrating beverage, infuse water with slices of lemon, lime, or orange. These simple yet flavorful ways to enjoy citrus fruits can significantly contribute to improving blood flow in your legs. Next up, what are the specific nutritional components found in fatty fish that contribute to enhancing blood flow in your legs? 4. Salmon Do you often eat salmon? 
salmon contains a remarkable compound called omega-3 fatty acids, particularly icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, and dicosahexaonic acid, DHA, known to enhance blood flow in your legs by reducing inflammation and improving the flexibility of blood vessels. For instance, a 3.5-ounce, 100-gram, serving of wild-caught salmon provides approximately 1.5 grams of combined EPA and DHA. These fatty acids help prevent blood clot formation, thereby promoting smoother blood circulation throughout your body, including your legs. Additionally, salmon is rich in protein, vitamins D and B12, and selenium, which contribute to support the functioning of endothelial cells lining the blood vessels, ensuring proper dilation and contraction, thus facilitating optimal blood flow to your legs. To optimize the health benefits of salmon, consider grilling or baking it with a sprinkle of herbs and lemon juice for added flavor without excessive calories or sodium. Pairing it with antioxidant-rich vegetables like spinach or asparagus can further enhance its benefits for blood flow. Another tip is to include salmon in salads or sandwiches for a nutritious and delicious meal option. Transitioning to our next topic, what unique nutrients found in these plant-based sources have been linked to promoting better blood circulation in the legs? 5. Nuts and Seeds Nuts and seeds offer a unique blend of nutrients that can significantly enhance blood flow in your legs. For instance, they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, specifically alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, which can promote vasodilation and improve circulation. Additionally, these foods contain arginine, an amino acid precursor to nitric oxide, a compound that helps relax blood vessels and regulate blood pressure. A notable example is walnuts, which contain approximately 2.5 grams of ALA per ounce and are also high in arginine. Furthermore, nuts and seeds packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, including vitamin E, magnesium, and potassium, which support overall cardiovascular health. These nutrients help reduce inflammation, lower cholesterol levels, and maintain the flexibility of blood vessels, contributing to better circulation throughout the body. When incorporating nuts and seeds into your diet, consider enjoying them as snacks or adding them to meals and salads. To enhance their nutritional benefits, opt for raw or dry-roasted varieties without added salt or oils. You can also experiment with different combinations and flavors by mixing various nuts and seeds together. For example, try sprinkling a handful of almonds, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds over yogurt or oatmeal for a nutritious and delicious breakfast. Transitioning to the next topic, what are the distinctive characteristics of a certain root vegetable known for its deep red color? which contribute to enhancing blood flow in your legs? 6. Beets Have you ever eaten beets? Beets, renowned for their vibrant color, contain a unique compound called nitric oxide that acts as a vasodilator, dilating blood vessels to improve blood flow in your legs. Nitric oxide helps relax and widen blood vessels, reducing blood pressure and enhancing circulation. Research from organizations like the American Heart Association, AHA, and the National Institutes of Health, NIH, has highlighted beets' potential to promote cardiovascular health. Just a single cup of beet juice can provide approximately 13 millimoles of nitrate, a precursor to nitric oxide, effectively boosting blood flow. Beyond their nitric oxide content, beets also contain high levels of dietary nitrates, which convert to nitric oxide in the body, further aiding in improving blood flow in your legs. Studies suggest that regular consumption of beets or beet juice can lead to enhanced exercise performance and increased endurance, attributed to improved circulation. To incorporate beets into your diet, consider juicing them for a refreshing beverage or adding them to salads, soups, or smoothies. Roasting beets brings out their natural sweetness, making them a delicious addition to various dishes. To maximize their health benefits, avoid overcooking, as excessive heat can degrade some of the nutrients. Additionally, consider consuming beet supplements or powdered beetroot for a convenient way to reap the benefits of this nutritious vegetable. Moving to the next topic, what specific properties of cocoa-rich dark chocolate contribute to enhancing blood flow in your legs? 7. Dark Chocolate Dark chocolate contains high levels of flavonoids, particularly flavanol, which is known to dilate blood vessels and improve blood flow. For instance, Consuming 100 grams of dark chocolate with 70 to 85% cocoa content can significantly enhance blood circulation in the legs. 
flavanols work by increasing nitric oxide levels in the blood, which relaxes and widens blood vessels, allowing for better blood flow. This vasodilation effect is particularly beneficial for improving circulation in the lower extremities. Furthermore, dark chocolate has been shown to reduce inflammation and decrease platelet aggregation, both of which contribute to better blood flow. These properties help prevent the formation of blood clots and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases associated with poor circulation. To maximize the benefits of dark chocolate for improving blood flow in your legs, opt for varieties with higher cocoa content, as they contain more flavonoids. Enjoy dark chocolate as a snack or dessert in moderation to avoid excessive calorie intake. Experiment with incorporating dark chocolate into recipes like smoothies, oatmeal, or yogurt parfaits for a delicious and nutritious boost. When selecting dark chocolate, choose products with minimal added sugars and avoid overly processed options. If you find the information I just shared valuable, don't forget to give me a little motivation by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much. What about you? Do you experience leg numbness? What foods are you incorporating into your meals? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Ignoring the importance of consuming the seven foods that enhance blood flow in your legs can have dire consequences. Poor circulation in the legs can lead to various health issues, including numbness, pain, and even serious conditions like deep vein thrombosis. Take action now to prioritize your vascular health and incorporate these foods into your diet. Your legs will thank you, and your overall well-being will benefit. Don't wait until it's too late, make the change today and feel the difference. Join us in our upcoming video as we uncover the surprising secrets hidden within the fruits you thought you knew. Prepare to be amazed as we unveil their miraculous effects on enhancing your blood circulation. You won't believe what you've been missing. Stay tuned.